Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be discussing whether I think, from my perspective as a professional writer, if Adrikins should have been the main character of Miraculous over Marinette. Of course, this will be all my own opinion, and just because I am a professional writer, even though the way I act sometimes it may seem I'm a bit more like a professional idiot. What are you? An idiot sandwich. But just because I am a professional writer doesn't mean your opinion is any less valid or valuable. This is just me trying to look at this more objectively as a professional rather than just a fan of the show. So I've seen this discussion a lot online about Adrian and how he should have been the lead and not Marinette. And while I do think some of that comes from a place of people just hating Marinette, and I do also personally do prefer Adrian to Marinette as characters, she is still one of my favourites in the show though, so my ranking so far, this is kind of important, is Mark. Obviously. Then we have the legend that is Mr. Banana. Then it's Natalie, a queen, then Adrian, then Marinette, and then Alia, and then after that I don't really care. So yes, I do prefer Adrian to Marinette, but only by like a fraction. However, a lot of people saying Adrian should be the lead is often born out of their absolute hatred for Marinette, and that's something to discuss for another day but that's often their leading reason, because they don't like her. Which isn't a very good reason, to be honest. However, there have been other critiques too, mainly being that most of the plot and lore revolves around Adrian, not Marinette, and I feel that's really valid critique. Gabriel Babes is obviously Hulk daddy, his mom is chilling in her fridge down in the murder basement, and Natalie is slowly turning into the Terminator, his cousin is... I have no idea what's going on in that boy's head, so I'm not even going to try and guess. And both boys are more than likely senti monsters. And even if you don't believe that theory is true, it's definitely interesting. Marinette has none of that at all. She has a very normal family. As far as I'm aware, they don't even have a basement for them to keep relatives on life support in. I highly doubt she's senti. And unless her aunt Shuyin, who we've yet to really see properly in the show, has some robotic limbs, Marinette, in comparison, is really boring. <laughs> If you take away being Ladybug and the Guardian, she is, as the theme song suggests, a normal girl with a normal life except she face palms the pavement every two minutes. The song <laughs> doesn't say that, but it totally should. Jeremy, I'd request a rewrite from you, but with how long the Awakening movie is taking, you'll take a decade working that into the lyrics somewhere. However, Marinette, by and large, is very relatable. Outside of her Ladybug duties, she is doing normal teenage stuff. And even as Ladybug, she also does normal teenage stuff, which is often to her detriment, like in Strike Back. She makes a lot of choices other teenagers, particularly teenage girls, would make. And because of Adrian's background, he doesn't really get to do that. Not for lack of trying, though. In Gorazilla, he runs off to go to the cinema or the movie theatre. He gets a birthday party in the bubbler, even though it's against his dad's wishes. And in Party Crasher, he gets to hang out with his friends. And oh my god, to say I was shocked to find out most people do not like Party Crasher, what is wrong with you? You have no taste. Uh, we need to discuss your life choices. So, Adrian isn't very relatable. Unless, of course, you're a model who isn't allowed to leave the house and you think your mum is dead and your dad is emotionally abusing you. And I haven't checked the exact statistics on that, but I feel it's safe to say most people on Earth don't fit that, and neither would most of the target audience then. That's not to say you can't relate to how he feels in the show sometimes, though. I've also been through emotional abuse, so I can understand how Adrian feels a lot of the time, particularly where his family and his home situation is concerned, but it does make him a lot less relatable. And speaking of abuse, if Adrian was the main character, the show would have a much darker tone due to everything he's being put through. In order for Adrian to be the lead of a show aimed at 8-10 to year olds, his whole character and a lot of the plot would need reworking, and by that, I mean Adrian and Marinette would have to literally swap places so she would be the one being abused and her mum is dying in a crypt. You'd need to flip the whole thing around and if that was the case, we'd all be arguing right now that Marinette should be the lead instead. So while yes, a lot of the more interesting aspects of the show revolve around Adrian, not Marinette, and he is a much more interesting character, he is not the right choice for a main character for a show for 8-10 to year olds. If this show was aimed at 14+, plus, then I'd say go for it. He'd be perfect for the lead of a show for teenagers. 
but a show with Adrian as a lead would be far too dark for the current age bracket. And I don't know if you're aware, but when you write for children, there are so many rules in place. These rules do change country by country, so there's not like a standard version of them. And Miraculous is allowed to get away with more now due to how popular it is, shown by how the tone of the show has changed. If you don't believe me, just compare Volpina, the season one ending, to Strike Back, the season four ending. A lot of people I've seen saying the tone of the show has not changed, and I'm like, then we are watching different shows because bestie she has changed significantly but even though the tone has changed there are still some lines they cannot cross most of you won't know this but i am actually a published author and i primarily write for young adults which is still classed as fiction for children older children yes but still children nonetheless and there are lots of rules i have to stick with when i write my books or i risk it not being able to be published if i won't change so while yes adrian is more interesting and a lot of the lore and plot revolves around him he is not the right choice for a show for eight to ten year olds Marinette is, regardless of how much you hate her. In fact, I would argue she's the perfect choice to lead Miraculous. Although that's not to say I think Adrian shouldn't be used more, he needs more attention in the show for sure, but the show will never be a 50-50 split between the two of them because Adrian's story is too dark for the show to focus solely on it with this current target audience. For the target audience, Marinette has to be the main. So what do you think, besties? Have I convinced you Marinette should be the lead? I'd love to know what you think. However, I'd like to ask that each of you try to keep your bias in check when evaluating this. I love Adrian and Marinette both, but yes, I do prefer Adrian more, but I've tried to see past that in order to make this video. So I'd love to know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.